Nate, I feel like this is something I always wanted to do as a kid. It's laundry day. <laughs> but not in a good way. In today's video, we're going to test out what happens if we run a load of laundry with an entire bottle of laundry detergent and an entire bottle of fabric softener. I have had this question for about two weeks, so Callie's been thinking about it for a lot longer than I have. Just like, what happens if you, like, just... There's oh, a recommended oops, I put in too much soap. You use too much laundry detergent or too much laundry softener. Well, what will happen? Well, what if instead of just using one cup, you just used one? This says on it 64 loads, and the fabric softener actually says 105 loads. Oh. So clearly you're supposed to use less fabric softener than detergent. Not going to do that. But today. I think we're going to use all of it. The basic idea for today's video is pretty much what we explained in the beginning. We're going to run an entire load of laundry, but rather than the recommended quantities of laundry detergent and fabric softener, we're going to use the entire bottle. We want to see what this does to the clothes and to the machine. And we want to see what that does to the clothing, like how much yeah. they actually absorb. How bad does it affect towels? Supposedly yeah. you're not supposed to put towels in with laundry softener as it is because then they don't absorb as much. So I got brand new towels. Just. And this is a not brand new towel. Yes, so we have some that we've had in the and studio. And this is a very not brand new towel. Shirts that we've destroyed with previous experiments. No, these are perfectly good shirts. Well, they're good. They just they're need just, to be washed. That's what I mean. Destroyed, and then, they're dirty. These pants are actually kind of dirty too. So I wore them with the intention of I will put on some King of Random sweatpants, throw these in as well. And, you know, hopefully I'm going to end up with extraordinarily clean and very, very fabric soft jeans. But I suspect we're going to have to... <laughs> run these all through a regular wash again after this. I didn't know this was part of the plan and I'm thrilled. I honestly think that we're probably gonna end up with clothing that like feels like it's coated in wax or something like Good. that. Good. I'm so, so excited. That's the plan. I'm so gonna we, try and clean a window with one of these towels afterwards. We went and got a washing machine that is not like used for anything else. It's a used machine. We got it just for doing experiments with and if it still works after today then maybe we can come up with some other things to do with it as well. But I want to make soup in a washing machine. She wants to make soup. Should we so go do some go laundry? Do the laundry. I'm gonna cool. change pants. Cool. I'm gonna go start start the load, I guess. I'm just gonna hope we have enough. So we have our new washer and all of our clothes and some towels. Okay. Now I was just reading through the manual for this particular model, and it does warn against adding too much fabric softener or detergent. Does it warn? It does warn about detergent. Uh, it says don't use too much, and okay. it says don't pour it directly into the container. So fill that. Okay. Just a little more. Just a little more. Just a little bit more. Yeah, we're not pouring it directly in. We're yeah. pouring it in it here, said, and it happens you do, to be don't, overflowing. Don't pour it directly into the barrel. So I'm not. Gotta obey the rules. We are obeying the rules. I think that looks like about enough detergent. I'm not positive. I'm hoping it's enough. Pretty okay. dirty towels in there, I think. Yeah. After I washed my hands, I dried my hands off on that towel, so. Yeah, it's, there, it's, go. it's filthy. All right, now we're going to try. I downloaded the manual just to try and figure out this machine because <laughs> I'm used to the kind where you're like, poke. Whites or colors, start. You know, you can change the water temperature, but all right, so. Oh, it, it sings us a song. Okay. Good. Okay, so I think. We, uh, we want to add the fabric softener option, so that added some more time. Do we want to put on speed wash or do we want to do just cotton wash? I, I think we need to let this run its full okay. regular wash load. So we're going to just try and keep an eye on this thing here and uh, hope that this machine is not so smart that it will freak out and be like, oh, you added too much detergent. So hmm. we'll see. All right. All right, it's in the washing stage. Okay, the water is actually coming out blue. Yeah, we can see. Okay, I think it's now <laughs> flushed most of the soap through uh -huh. the detergent. So yeah, now it's water falling down onto the clothes. Now this whole setup is supposed to, I guess now says time remaining, 51 minutes. So we probably have a while before the rinse cycle. We're two adults being entertained by a washing machine. A Welcome to quarantine. <laughs> See, we weren't sure if we were going to get bubbles, but I think we got some bubbles. Detergent doesn't bubble up nearly as much as some kinds of soap, but we used a lot of detergents. Now we let it run and try to add our fabric softener when it gets to the rinse cycle. <laughs> and it does have a pause button on it, which I'm just yeah. going to see if that... 
Okay, it lets me pause and it unlocks. Good, we're good. That. All right, resuming. So I'm pretty sure that no matter what, once we get to the rinse cycle, I'll be able to pause it, open it up, pour in all the fabric softener, and uh, let it do its rinse, which I don't think is gonna be very effective. We'll see. I just hit pause because it, it started blinking rinse cycle and I saw water flowing down through and like the, the, the amount of fabric softener that we had put into the correct spot flowing out with the water. So I think that means it's time we add the rest. Okay, absolutely, we just didn't have enough. It almost seems like we've dyed our clothes blue at this point and it smells so overwhelmingly strong of mm. detergent and soap at this point. I think you mean of clean breeze. Oh, that is what I meant. Yes. Clean breeze. All right, let's fire this thing back up. All right. Oh boy. So this is the first drain after all of the detergent and this is the drain, like the rinse cycle. I mean, it's clearly very blue because it does have an entire <laughs> no bottle of fabric softener in it. This is how much water it takes to do a load of laundry, in case you're wondering. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know exactly, like we just turned it on. So mm -hmm. I don't, we didn't like choose a size, soil level or anything like that. It's just the, the basic, whatever it thought we should do on the cotton slash normal setting. So this is one cotton slash normal load from this washing machine. Wow. Okay. That seemed like kind of a lot. Let's take a look. Smells like detergent and fabric softener. Mm -hmm. Well, this shirt was white. <laughs> it's got a blue tint to it. <laughs> it's very blue now. Oh, gotta check out my jeans. I will say it is very soft. It is soft. It is It, it very, does honestly very... feel like it might be like a little waxy kind of yep, feeling. Like I think absolutely. it's built up a bit. The pockets are bluer. And now, of course, it is still wet. So we're gonna run things through the Smell dryer. It though. <laughs> it's so very, strong. very strong of that clean breeze scent. Goodness. We're gonna use the regular dryer and hope it doesn't like build up too much on the inside. The other dryer that we normally use for experiments has suffered an unfortunate popcorn fate. So maybe someday when we clean it. Our clothes are out of the dryer. Are they? Clothes and towels. Um, this is interesting. They just smell like room fresheners at this point. I mean, it smells very strongly of whatever breeze, <laughs> fresh breeze that was. This one's still blue. The, the, the white shirts have kept their blue tint to them. So if you see us wearing these in the future, if they look white, it's because color correction did that, but they are ever so slightly blue. And you know what's kind of remarkable is how close the fabric softener color was to a lot of the cloth. Yeah, that we've I didn't actually think about that when I first put them in here. So you can't really tell how blue these squares are in comparison. They look white, but it's definitely more blue than when I put them in there. I will say this: this is the softest shirt I've ever. It felt. does. It does feel very soft. Now it's, it's not like some magical level where you touch and you're just like, ooh, it's like a chenille blanket <laughs> now. It's not like that. It's but just like, just, oh, this is But very handling soft. it, you're like, it feels different somehow. Okay, and maybe it's just know. slightly more slippery. Well, I'm gonna try spilling some water and see how absorbent some of our towels are. Go for it. <laughs> it's absorbing. Not the way you would want a towel to absorb though. It's more spreading. All right, so it's not doing a perfect job. It's, it's drying, but it shouldn't have taken I mean, two towels to dry that little mess. This, this towel still dries and it's very comfortable. There's a chance that we've used so much fabric softener that this is gonna like cause a rash or something like that because it's a lot, clearly. I also have noticed before, if I've ever thrown a few in with my regular clothes, that they start to streak. So I want to, and what I mean by that is like streak on glass when I'm trying to clean with them. So I'm gonna test that out. It's not drying. Well, actually, no, there's, there's some good streaks. It's streaky to me. That's pretty streaky. You can't really clean with it, put this much on it. We kind of knew that, but interesting to see. You're gonna close your eyes and I'm gonna hand you both t-shirts okay. and you're gonna see if you can identify which is which. I'm gonna do it five times. 
This one is absolutely so laundry detergent. I'm gonna go with no laundry detergent. No laundry detergent. Not laundry detergent. Laundry detergent. Laundry detergent. Laundry detergent. Okay, she got it right every single time. Okay. <laughs> so mostly, I just handed you these two shirts over and over. Okay. Just to see if you could tell the difference between the two. And then I threw this one in just to, to, to mix things up. If you go just straight from the middle, they feel about the same, but then feel the edges. Normal clothes are described as crunchy, but when compared to this, it was crunchy. And I'm wearing the jeans. Oh no. So I put them on. I do want to say that washing with an entire bottle of detergent got them much cleaner than they were. Not necessarily cleaner than a regular and correct amount of detergent would have done, but they did get nice and clean, which is nice. How comfortable um, are they right now? So two things that I'm noticing. One, like just putting them on, I'm like, oh, okay. They're just like jeans. Okay. Um, do you want to walk around As I the like front high line? step around in them a little bit. So I, it does feel like the texture on my legs is a little bit different and it's really hard to describe. It wouldn't be my first thought to be like, ooh, soft. <laughs> but it's just like different a little, like smoother. And I keep describing it as a slightly waxy feel. And I think bit. that's pretty appropriate. Overall. Would you suggest that you use $20 worth of full bottle, three liters of detergent, and nearly the same I amount of laundry softener? I, I can't even come up with an upside to this. Most of that detergent got washed away without doing anything useful. Yep. You saw how blue the water was. You could have used that water as detergent by the time For many, done. many cycles. Like mm -hmm. you could just put two cups of that and I'm sure it would have washed well. While it doesn't stop it from absorbing completely, it's probably not good for cleaning because you get mm -hmm. more streaks and the feel is just a little softer. Anything else you want to see us do with the washing machine? Because we, we have do have now. a washing machine. We haven't figured out a good way to hook hot water up to it yet, which I do think would be pretty key for making soup. Oh, yeah. Some washing machines, I think, actually have water heaters built into them, so they like heat the water up more, but they do still use the hot water to start mm -hmm. with. So, things you like to see us wash, you can easily see into that machine, so it's kind of cool you get to watch it all happen. Let us know. Guys, that's not all. You know, we've always got more for you to see. Click that box over there to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on a cool video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.